Hey everyone, hope you are doing well. Get your coffee, get your cup. You might need a little uh, something special in your tea or your coffee cup because guess what? This right here, sh shocking, unbelievable to me. So, remember when they were giving out the money, the PPP loans and the SBA, the, the PPP loans were forgivable. However, the SBA, the Small Business Administration loans were not. Now, during the Trump president's dancing, there was talk about his administration saying, hey, they were considering um, canceling the, the SBA loans, okay? During Trump's presidency, the administration, there was talk of them wanting to cancel the SBA loan for small businesses, all right? This administration, not the case. Now, there's a reason for everything, and I'm not here. If you anti-Trump, that's fine. I'm just dealing with some facts and information, okay? Do I agree with everything he said? No, did I vote for him? Yes, I did, because I, I vote based on business, my wallet, okay? I make my income primarily through Wall Street. So that's, you know, I'm going to vote my interest. Holding hands and somebody over the border, I already saw through that. Yeah, that's just not for me to pay for somebody else no one paid for me my parents did my father supported us we didn't get a a, a government thing N never in life so my dad supported us so yeah i need my tax dollars to support americans i'm not here somebody just comes over here making demands but that's a different video so let me go ahead and give you this information which was shocking to me i couldn't believe it i couldn't believe it so much i'm like there's got to be a misunderstanding but no it's not so I had to Google to see if what the person was telling me was the truth. So they were giving out SBA loans. Again, Trump said to, hey, forgive the loan. Okay. There was talk about forgiving those loans. And I can see why. Because as a businessman, he may not be the best businessman, but of course he understands it. Got to give him that. There are all kind of reports about him. I'm not saying he's the best, but he definitely has a head for business. So in doing so, you know, when you have a business, it doesn't mean that it's going to recover. That doesn't mean that. So this here, when he was saying to forgive the loan, that would have been a hell of an idea. As I said before, a lot of businesses have not been able to, uh, they've got the loan. If your business doesn't work, you are still on the hook for that loan. And this is more than your credit going bad. Oh, way more than that. So him saying that, yeah, he probably knew all these small businesses are not going to make it post, -cap, you know, post the uh, C area vaccine, you know, that, that area that we went through. He probably knew. And, and, and it's understandable. The handwriting was on the wall. It was a struggle. But again, it's not like the PPP loan for payroll with the SBA. Your business goes belly up. You are still on the hook. So guess what happened to me? A shocking phone call. A person got the SBA. So Brad went and got him an SBA loan for his business. He's married, has children. So he has a family, okay? The family is relying on the husband, you know, his, his business, their income. Got the SBA loan. The business did not survive. It didn't survive. He had to shut down shop. So basically, you know, let's say you shut down shop and you may have some equipment and things like that, whatever you have from the business, put them in storage, may try to sell off, what have you. But you're like, well, I'm going to do this for now. We, I got to move out of here. So you got to get out this commercial lease and you got to move your equipment someplace else. If you don't have time to sell, you just get it out. So a common sense thing is a storage unit. He lost the business. It didn't survive. Closed it down. Couldn't make the payments to the SBA. When he found him a job to feed his family and went on with life. He's in panic mode. He should be because he says he got a letter from the SBA. So obviously he's the father on the loan. And come on, you're a business owner. The resume you know, for a business, unless you know someone, it's not going to be a, a great paying job. It may be a job that can barely get by. Or maybe it can be the only job you could find. Guess what happened? 
the letter he said he received let him know they want the equipment any inventory that he may have and hold the phone they're coming after his house hold on let's go over the numbers I said, it sounds like to me, you were, it, it, me, I said, this sounds like a heart attack letter. So, his loan was for what, $40,000? The cruelty, I, 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 I can't, I cannot believe this. The loan was for $40,000? He said they tacked, the letter from what he received, reportedly they've tacked on some additional fees and stuff guess how much they've tacked on an additional thirty thousand dollars so the forty thousand sba loan that he's defaulted on is now seventy thousand dollars and i'm like well wait i thought those were lawyer just loans forty thousand dollar loan is now seventy thousand dollars you hurt me this sounds ridiculous Keep in mind all the money going out. This is, I mean, this is unbelievable money going out to the illegal immigrants. Look at NYC, gonna spend $53 million, a pilot program to give them a prepaid credit card, $1,000 every 28 days. Wow. American taxpayer, payer, American voter, good luck to you. So, $40,000, they tacked on some fees of $30,000, makes it $70,000, and they're coming after. Uh, the business, so it's like, well, I don't have a location anymore. Okay, what's the assets? What's the inventory? And also coming after his house. I'm like, this cannot be. This sounds crazy. Hearing about it. It's like, nope, a letter. I'm like, well, they wouldn't send a letter through the mail for a joke. That This is crazy. Now I see why Trump was saying to forgive the loans because you know what? He probably knew that, hey, this is go- given his age. His experience, oh, this is going to happen. It's not going to weather the storm. So here's what's going to happen. Now it makes perfect sense. Wow, this is crazy. So I'm like, this can't be. So I Google it. It says, I Google, will the SBA take your house if you don't pay the loan back? It says, Once you have defaulted on your SBA loan, the lender will do everything it can to get the repayment back. The first step they will take is that they'll try to seize your collateral. That is whatever inventory, equipment, real estate, or even business equity you promise to secure the loan. Meanwhile, in between time, we got open borders and paying out billions of dollars to illegal immigrants who've never even paid to the system. Hundreds of, it's costing reportedly hundreds of billions of dollars. American taxpayer, you can't get any relief for your business that failed? Losing your jobs? Where's the money for, you know, when they have high unemployment? And I know they said the numbers came out good. That's one thing, but I'm hearing reports that, hey, guess what? The numbers not, aren't matching up. Because a lot of states are saying, hey, we're having high unemployment. Americans can't afford rent, can't afford food, people turning in their cars, can't afford the property taxes on the house, can't afford the house insurance, the home insurance, the car insurance. So where's the money to help you out? I'm looking for it. I don't see it. Where is it? But we have money for illegal immigrants. Make this. I didn't vote Democrat. I did not. But this here is surprised the heck out of me. Again, once you default on your SBA loan, the lender will do everything it can to get the repayment back. The first step they'll take is they'll try to seize your collateral. That is whatever inventory, equipment, real estate, or even business equity you promised to secure the loan. And I thought about it. I wouldn't be surprised if they were to take the, the collateral and probably, hey, let me guess, give it to the illegal immigrants so they can go ahead and start a business and give them a shot. <laughs> hey, why not? Doing everything else for them. I thought about that. So note to self, now it makes sense Trump saying to forgive the SBA. He probably knew that, oh my, that a lot of these young, a lot of the new business owners had no idea they're trying to survive. It didn't work out. And people say, oh, they should have started a business. Well, the same thing can apply for you and your job. Well, hey, maybe you should have worked in tech. Who saw it coming? No one did. 
and no one has th- th- this right here li- life happens oh well, they shouldn't have started a business well did have you lost your job well maybe you should have chosen a different job i just hate people who do stuff like that like you know like oh well, you know it's the... someone has to start a business what are we gonna, what are we gonna always do everybody look for a job jobs come from businesses hello who has to be laid off oh and can't find a replacement job where's where's the help for the american taxpayers living a nightmare just to survive is a nightmare so yeah i heard about it i'm like there's no way so i had to google it so apply for sba disaster loan i hope you can pay back somehow because aside from losing your business, you could possibly lose your home. Oh my goodness. I, I'm 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 shocked. I I was just totally shocked. And then the tack on, how do you tack an additional thirty thousand dollars on a forty thousand dollar loan? Who does that? I'm like, are you sure it's the SBA or did you deal with the long shark joke? I'm only joking. <laughs> but seriously. So that is exasperating in itself. I just wanted to let you all aware of that. I was not aware of this at all. I don't have, um, you know, I, I'm not the expert on the SBA. Obviously, I don't work or anything like that. But this here is just shocking. So whatever you do when it comes to things you have to pay, if you have a loan with the SBA, please don't delay and I'm out.